When the Supreme Court was hearing a petitioner recently about Article 35A that gives special rights and provisions to the permanent residents of Kashmir, the issue was so sensitive that the top court deferred it. In the already complex and sensitive atmosphere of the valley, any talk of changing the status quo in Kashmir ends up with major outrage, heartburn and lots of distrust. The state said that they simply couldn't have this before the upcoming panchayat elections and the top court agreed. And so when this national security advisor goes public with a statement that he made during a book release function about the status of Kashmir, well, that time it obviously raises eyebrows. The National Security Advisor of the Prime Minister talked about the state of the Kashmir issue and this is, and everyone listened and that's why we are asking what did the NSA mean? He said at the book launch that Patel's merger of states only is a means to the end, that the sovereignty is, is actually applicable to the whole state and another constitution of JNK is an aberration. He also said that Patel laid the foundation of nation-state with one constitution, one law. Now this instantly got everyone's attention. Surely the National Security Advisor was referring to the raging debate about 35A which was at the Supreme Court recently. What did he actually mean? Well, when NDTV reached out to the National Security Advisor to clarify what did he mean when he said that another constitution of JNK is an aberration, Mr. Ajit Doval told NDTV that 560 states with different laws were merged with India and had one constitution. The merger was means to an end and not an end by itself, which also sounds quite cryptic. Now, this has had immediate impact. The National Conference has immediately asked for the centre to clarify its stand or they say they're going to boycott the local polls that are taking place. They say, in fact, that the centre should clarify the position and they say that the powers that be are fiddling with 35A. This is the language that they actually used. So over the course of the next half hour, on reality check, we're going to reality check the statement. Is the centre, is the national conference right with its allegations? As they say, that there is a sinister attempt. Is there any reality to that fear of the National Conference at all? And what did the National Security Advisor actually mean? Before we go to our panelists about this, let's just hear what he said and also the reaction that came from Farooq Abdullah. Now, his contribution is not about the merger of the states. It is only a means to an end. The thing was that to make a sovereign state in which there was the sovereignty of the people was established through a constitution which is applicable to the whole of it, probably with Jammu and Kashmir, where the constitution was with some in a truncated form, was this thing, and the, another constitution of the JNK continued to exist, which is an aberration which I think Sharon Pissing in, in his book has brought out very vividly. So I think one of his great contribution has been that he has been able to lay the foundation of a nation state. And a nation state in which there was one constitution, there was one law, there was an indivisible sovereignty can never be divided. JNK National Conference would fight tooth and nail all sinister attempts aimed at interfering with this constitutional guarantee in any manner. A recently announced urban local body polls and panchayat elections came under discussion. The core group felt that decision, that this decision was taken in a hurried manner without taking into consideration the prevailing situation created by the powers that be by unnecessarily fiddling with Article 35A. The JNK National Conference will not participate in these elections unless and until the Government of India and the State Government clears its position in this regard and takes effective steps for the protection of Article 35A in and outside the court. 
So is there a change in the stance of the center? Is the national conference right when they say that there is a sinister attempt to talk about it? We have Kabul Simple Foreign Secretary, former Foreign Secretary and also a member of the Vivekanand Foundation where Ajit Doval was speaking. And joining us from the PDP, we have Rafi Ahmed Mir. Remember that the PDP, the national conference, they all have a similar stance on this particular issue. And from the national conference, we have uh, Aga Rahula as well. Uh, Mr. Sibyl, I just want to come to you first uh, because we heard what uh, mm. the NSA mm -hmm. said. Uh, is there any truth to the fears that people in the valley are expressing? Because his statement seems very, very interesting. And it seems that you know he talks about the Constitution and the fact that it is not the means to an end. Uh, and he talks about another constitution, that everyone should have the same constitution. So it really looks like he is talking about a change in the stance towards 35A. Well, I won't interpret it that way. Uh, I think uh, he was speaking on, a, on an occasion of a book launch at the Vivekanand International Foundation uh, on uh, Swami, on, on, uh, on uh, uh, the, 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 on, the, on how India's unity was established uh, post-1947 uh, by a merger of uh, states uh, or the princely states, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And in that context, he made this observation that uh, uh, the Jammu and Kashmir uh, uh, state has a separate constitution, which in the context of what was happened at that time when 565 or a figure like that, princely states got merged into India is an aberration and he left it at that. Now, everybody understands the, the circumstances in which this happened because uh, uh, Kashmir uh, did not Im immediately accede to India and uh, it joined much later. It had a standstill agreement. Finally, the instrument of accession was signed and certain concessions were given to Jammu and Kashmir, which included a separate uh, const constitution. I, I don't think that it was at all in NSA's mind uh, that there should now be a, a change in the situation and there should and the separate constitution of Jammu and Kashmir should be rescinded. I mean, right. he knows what the sensitivity of this current debate is on Section 35A. Yes. And he's not going but to put so, his uh, foot into this uh, so callously. But it so, just is that it yeah. was a statement made in, in, in a particular context with no further meaning. And finally, in, with regard to Mr. Farooq Abdullah's uh, comment. Yes. You know, they've always been opposed to these uh, polls, uh, the, the local polls, because they feel that power will shift away from the established parties, new leaders will be thrown up, and their position will be undermined. So they have never been in favor of panchayat elections because they felt that the mainstream political parties would end. And if they feel that Section 35A is something which every Kashmiri would want to hold on to, then these polls will show what the people really feel on the ground. This will be a good time. Uh, for them to, to demonstrate where they stand on this issue Mr. Sibyl, rather than the NC taking Sibyl, a position will, that we will boycott the polls. Okay. It doesn't make any sense to me. No, so your charge that the NC is using this as a ruse, I'll just get NC uh, to respond to that. But sir, I just want to point out and clarify to our viewers as well, you're saying it was just in the context of the book launch. He wasn't speaking about 35A. But I just want to point out that NDTV did reach out to Mr. Doval after the controversy, after people started talking about the fact that this has emerged as a controversy and even then he didn't deny it he didn't say he just tweaked his statement a bit he obviously was aware that we were all looking at it through the prism of 35a debate uh, debate which is going on right now and he just said look, and i just want to look, repeat to you and, look, and sir, let me answer sir he no sir can i just can i just yeah. repeat what he said he said after we reported to him that sir yeah. this has created a major controversy yeah. uh, okay, you know can, can you clarify and then he said that you know he said the merger was means to an end and not an end by itself now that sounds intriguing that shows that he's talking about a process and the process may you mean change hello yes sir no there are two things one is that after he's made that statement and you ask him for clarification he's not going to disavow what he earlier said because that would have made the situation even more difficult. And then you would have said that he's against Article 35A amendment and this and that when the matter is before the Supreme Court. Why should he get into this kind of a logic? And secondly, what he really means is 
that there will be no further concessions to Jammu and Kashmir with regard to the autonomy and the sovereignty, relative sovereignty that they presently enjoy. That is how I would interpret it, not reversal, but there will be no further acceptance of, and of, further, of, of, of further autonomy demands by the Jammu and Kashmir uh, public and political parties. I think this is how you should interpret it. Okay, Mr. Rahul, would you like to respond to what Mr. Sibyl mm. has said about the fact that, you know, you are, you've been opposed to Panchayat polls, so you, now you're just using the 35A debate to say that you're not going to participate in that? Well, unfortunately, he's not well informed. He's uh, ill-informed in this matter because the last time Jammu and Kashmir uh, state held the Panchayat polls was the uh, uh, was during the uh, National Conference's government. And National Conference not only held the elections, but uh, swept the elections all across. Therefore, going to suggest that uh, National Conference is scared of or does not want this power to go to the grassroots level is not substantially true. It's, it's misleading. If he wants to pack, uh, check the facts, he can go back and uh, see when the last time the ele Panchayat elections were held. It was the Jammu and Kashmir National Conference along with Congress. Uh, dispensation so that held the see, Panchayat okay, election. Okay, and how do you see Mr. Toval's statement? We just saw Mr. Sibyl's explanation of it. How do you read it in the valley? The uh, Not only in the valley, but uh, the entire state today thinks that there is a, uh, a pattern in these uh, the statements which suggests that they have a design. Uh, uh, BJP has something uh, to offer to its or to please to its uh, political constituency in 2019 issues like 35a issues like 370 uh, they have a design with this they have a design uh, behind this and uh, therefore we are skeptical towards this and um, our answer to uh, the national security advisor mr Doval, is very simple if he calls the uh, uh, merge and let me tell you in the first place the state of Jammu and Kashmir never merged to the Union of India. The state of Jammu and Kashmir only acceded to yeah. the Union of India with certain conditions. And merger is in its uh, in, in in the first place is not the right word to use. Mr. Doval is not rightly informed. Jammu and Kashmir never merged to the Union of India. Uh, having said that, if uh, if Mr. Doval wants uh, to call 35A 370 uh, aberration, then he. He has to accept that the entire uh, idea of accession is called into question and that uh, automatic, uh, automatically becomes a Well, you know, your response actually points out to our viewers and to me, to everyone. It just reminds us again how each and every word when it comes to Kashmir is so loaded and how it is read uh, in Jammu and Kashmir by everyone. So obviously someone like Mr. Ajit Doval, you know, we'd assume and we're certain that he knows that as well, that it's all being read very, very carefully. Uh, we, uh, you know, Mr. Mir, does the PDP hold the same stance as the National Conference on this issue? How are you seeing Mr. Doval's statement? You see, uh, it, may be, it, may, it may be almost the same, so that as special position of the uh, um, uh, constitution of Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, a separate constitution and a separate flag is concerned. I think every political party and every um, um, person living in Jammu and Kashmir must be having the same waves because there have been change of government, change of parties, but status always has been the same. And in fact, both National Conference and uh, PDP also have been striving hard to get all that uh, restored back which has been lost uh, to the city at autonomy. But so long as Mr. Dowell's statement is concerned, yeah. it is very amusing, rather interesting to hear from the fellow panelist, uh, Mr. Sibyl, that he never meant that what he said. Actually, if we go by the words, what you said and what uh, was uh, tweeted and what came in the papers, he clearly meant that this is a state like that of others and a merger had taken place and there should have been nothing special about the status of Jammu and Kashmir which is very wrong and if you go factually also to class 8 of the, um, uh, the uh, this uh, accession if you go to that that gives us full sovereignty to run the state and after we had an constituent assembly here they formed our constitution and there was nothing which has been gifted to us or which we have begged for yes. after our state decided the leadership that time decided to go, go with India we knew this was a princely state this was a Muslim majority state. We went with India, which was a Hindu state. We gladly went with that. 
and only with this that we have a special status and within the country we will have all the freedom to decide our own fate. Yeah. Now after a very long period when court has also come in, people have also come in, political parties have also come in, this is further alienating the people of Jammu and Kashmir about the rights we already have. Yeah, you know, you must you know, be remembering that we have a proper... I I, I don't complete within one minute. Okay, we sure. have a problem. We are, we, are, we, are, we as political parties are trying to get both the countries together to take the stakeholders on board to resolve this issue once for all and live very peacefully. And such utterances for a position like this, uh, National Advisor of um, um, Union of India, not a small thing, coming such utterances, this only alienates people further and creates the situation which is further going to be out of control. Then okay, that is what okay so I just want to bring in another perspective. You know, we've heard from, uh, you know, the strategist, uh, Mr. Sibyl, we've heard your, both your political points from Jammu and Kashmir. I just want to get in an academic perspective. And so we have political scientist Shamsul Islam joining us. Sir, uh, you must have uh, heard what Mr. Dobal has said. We just heard from Mr. Sibyl about how he doesn't think that you know, that we are reading too much into it, that he, it's not that Mr. Doval wants to change the status quo, but that's not how the politicians in Jammu and Kashmir feel. How do you as an academ uh, academician uh, feel about or respond to Mr. Doval's statement? Yeah, I was, you said it was an atrocious statement. You know, the statement which he's not supposed to make, it's a political statement. You know, this statement should have come from President of India, or Prime Minister of India or Home Minister of India, who is he to say that this was abnormal? And uh, uh, what does he know about the times of uh, partition when India became independent? And, you know, we keep on blaming Nehru for everything, but the uh, Article 35A was issued uh, under the signature of uh, President Rajinder Prasad, who in no way can be said a uh, uh, Nehru kind of liberal. Mm -hmm. uh, on the, you know, uh, this this regime is known, uh, uh, in fact, the double talk would be the understatement. They, they have appointed a governor saying that he is a consensus maker. Then there is a uh, national security advisor who is saying that that is all wrong with that. And we should not forget another thing, that uh, it is not only Kashmir which has some special status, uh, called the Constitution of India. Uh, Manipur, uh, Arunachal, Goa, Himachal Pradesh, you know, all have uh, uh, special, uh, uh, special provisions of the constitution. Uh, but uh, I, I, I feel very strongly against that kind of statement from, from uh, uh, National Security Advisor. Professor Islam, thank you so much for speaking to us. Mr. Sibyl, just respond to that. Also, I want to just point out one of the things that uh, uh, that the National Conference spokesperson was raising was talking about the various statements and just to remind our viewers as well the kind of statements that we've having we've uh, seen of late you've had Ram Madhav saying that the court will look into different aspects of 35A and take an appropriate view you've had Rajnath saying however give a more conciliatory statement saying not just 35A we won't do anything against sentiments uh, of people of JNK but you've had the, uh, the additional solicitor general, the law officer who was recommending, who was speaking for the government, the center in Supreme Court saying there is an element of discrimination, but the matter has to be heard fully. He was talking about why 35A should be uh, changed. And that's why he said there's an element of discrimination in there. So, sir, when you look at these kind of statements, Mr. Sibyl, wouldn't you agree that there is a reason why people or the political parties in Jammu and Kashmir feel the sense of distrust and that's why they are rattled by the statement by the NSA. Well, I can understand that because they would like to make political uh, capital out of this in this uh, charge atmosphere. But you know, just now one of your panelists said that we are a Muslim majority state. Now, it is all right if there is Muslim majoritarianism, but it is wrong if there is Hindu majoritarianism. It is written in the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir that it is a Muslim state. So why do they bring in this communal angle? Number two, he is saying that uh, we did not merge with India, we acceded to India. So what is the difference between accession and merger? Is, is there no difference? In fact, all the princely states signed the instruments of accession, like Jammu and Kashmir did. 
No, but Mr. Number Sibyl, three, as a diplomat, you know, when it comes to panchayat polls, Mr. The, Mr. Sibyl, I, I just wanted to ask you just to hmm. clarify over there because you talked about the Muslim yeah. state. But part of the whole arrangement which goes back with Kashmir during the accession at that time wasn't it the whole special condition that you know it is a Hindu ruler and a Muslim majority state that was very much part of the condition that was taken into into uh, cognizance, uh, which is why they came up with the. India conditions. never accepted the partition of India on the basis of religion. And the Jammu and Kashmir, I want, doesn't want to go into history because all this is very well known. Uh, how the Hindi, Hindu um, uh, ruler acceded and how Sheikh Abdullah ha was, had very close ties with uh, Pandit Jawala Nehru, the whole issue of uh, Pakistan claims on Jammu and Kashmir and how to resolve the issue and we took it to the United Nations. That's a different history. But point is that when it comes to panchayati polls, one of your panelists said that it was held under the national conference, but let him, let him answer the question that are they in favor of funds going directly to the village level? They don't want that to happen because they don't we want a new leadership to come But you are saying accession and merging, uh, has, you leadership. see no difference. And, you and see in, there's in, no difference. In, in Jammu and Kashmir. He's very good. I will, have a, I will tell yeah, you. Mr. 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 And, and you see, the, and the last Mr. thing is. Mr. Mr. Sibyl, Mr. Mr. Sibyl. The last thing is, there was no separate is very sir. Okay. Okay. No, let me complete. No, please oh, okay, let me okay, complete okay, my Mr. thought Mr. and then you can okay, answer. Okay, Mr. Sibyl, just complete. If there was no Mr. separatist Mr. movement in Jammu and Kashmir, the, the kind of distinctions that are being made between merger and, uh, and accession and all would not ma be material at all. It is because of a separatist movement May and okay. because even the mainstream pol pol politicians no. are pussyfooting with the separatists. May that's why the language they use, they should be very careful in how they use it because okay, that sir. creates distrust amongst the larger may population of India look, 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 about I, I, the commitments tell you, of these I'll people. I'll, I'll the tell you, I'll okay, tell you, okay, I'll Mr. Sibyl, let Mr. Meer respond you, there, to the there, things you you're can, raising. You yeah, can, Mr. Meer, go ahead. You cannot, you can, you can, we, you cannot hide the facts which are actually very correct. I, by saying that I am a Muslim and you are a Hindu, that I am not going to divide the country or talking anything about religious uh, issues. The, but, but very fact that we, this was a Muslim majority state and, and our ruler was Hindu that moment. That is what I was referring to. And now that you don't even know that this has not, this state has not merged. Had there been the, uh, merger of this state also, there would have not been a special constitution. We had an option that moment also, whether we uh, exceed to India or Pakistan, and there were many other options. This is okay. a long history which has taken place step by step after a lot of negotiations and we have a special status. While, uh, while saying so on a national debate, you ought to know the fa facts which are factually correct. Now the so that are flowing of funds okay. to the village level May, may, may I say something? That this mean he must have Pradesh and Manipur and all that. We have about 10 seconds for you to respond. We're totally out of time. Our priority, our priority. Okay, Mr. Meen. One minute. Yeah, sir, we don't have a minute. We're totally out of time. I understand. I understand that this, you know, okay. this really gets us all, gets all of you going, gets everyone very, very... No, there's, there's a difference between merger and accession. Can I make a point here uh, to enlighten the... I think you've made that point. I think you've made that point. Yeah, but I'm not Pradesh by that yeah. logic is not, I think, is not I think Mr. Meen has India also made that fellow. point about the difference. So yeah, we Mr. Only Sibyl, exceeded, just we 10 only seconds, you want to add something. We're, we're totally out of time. Only, only, uh, the Union of India had jurisdiction over only three or four things. Uh, or the state of Jammu and Kashmir. That is communication, defense, uh, foreign affairs. Okay. And that's it. We have okay. our own separate okay. constitution. Mr. Sigmund, just, laws laws just of the Parliament of, of India you do not directly apply to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. We have a different constitution, different set of laws. Okay. We only exceeded. exceeded okay, we, and that okay, was a conditional done. accession. We're totally out of time. But obviously what this reality check episode would have perhaps conveyed to you is that just with his words, uh, the NSA has uh, really stirred up things in the valley and perhaps it's for the center to note how will they diffuse that, especially with the state of things there right now. And, uh, and that's the reason why the Supreme Court also deferred the 35A hearing. That's it on the show. We'll be back again tomorrow. Join us then.